here we are on Good Friday and as we remember Jesus dying on the cross, we often know, yes, Jesus died for my sins. We think of sin as our verbs, you know, like I, I should not sin. It's an action word. That's what we tend to think of. But I want you to understand the actual word, if you look into the original context, it's using the word called amethia, not amerthano. If you look at Greek, there are two words for sin, amerthia and amerthano. Amerthia is the noun sin, amerthano is the verb sin. And Jesus not only died for you for the verb sin, for your action sin, but he died for the state of sin, the noun sin, amethia. Today, I want you to understand that every force of sin in your life, whether it is a uh, verb sin, whether it is uh, the attack of the enemy, whether it is sickness, whether it's curse or condemnation or lack, you need to understand that it is finished.